it's trainer Loren here, and I am one of the National General Accident and Health Trainers. We also have a variety of other trainers and trainings that are available, so make sure you look on the schedule and, and keep up on that. So we're going to go ahead and get started. In this video, we're going to go over the accident fixed benefit, the TRIOMED, which is one of the best uh, policies that we have, supplemental policies that we have available. And we're going to go over the um, post sale. So again, the accident fixed benefit plan, the plan enhancer, the trio med, and of course the post sale. Okay, so in here you're going to notice that uh, product overview is a set cash benefit for each covered injury or service. This is going to pay on the benefits from any other plan. It doesn't matter if doctor or hospital is used. It's an easy to use and as well individual rates start around $25 a month. So this is going to be a layered benefit, kind of like, you know, that Aflac plan, but better. So let's go over some of the plan details. Now, the coverage and treatment services, and then you'll see the benefit amounts. So under that hospital room and board, it's a $750 per day, subject to a 30-day maximum. The inpatient hospital services, $750 a day, subject to a 15-day maximum. So this is an additional payout. Now, please note this is only in the event of an accident. Um, we've had quite a lot of um, questions in the training box about that particular um, point. So I did wanna go over and just point that out. So ancillary hospital charges, is $150 per treatment of services up to a total of five. The outpatient surgical expenses is $250 per visit subject to a five visit maximum. So that physician is a $50 per visit procedure or consultation subject to eight visit maximums, whether that's procedures or consultations, medical equipment, um, whether it's the rental or the purchase, service and supplies, artificial instruments, rehabilitative braces is a $100 benefit amount. Dental, $200 benefit amount. But remember, it has to be an accident. So if you're, if one of your insureds has a um, filling that they need, unless it was an accident related, it wouldn't be a. It's only a covered benefit again under the accident fix, fixed benefit. Eyeglasses, contact lenses, hearing aids is a benefit amount of fifty dollars. Rehabilitation is one hundred and fifty dollars. Maximum benefit amount is $15,000 per covered accident. Plan details. So let's go over this. And I'm just going to kind of pick on certain ones. So the injury must occur within 30 days of the accident. So if an individual um, has an accident, they have to seek treatment within 30 days of that accident. So dislocation, whether it's the hip, knee, wrist, elbow, ankle, shoulder blade, collarbone, jaw, is a maximum benefit of $500. Fractures, $150 per treatment of services, up to five total. So that can be, you know, hip, skull, excluding nose, lower jaw, teeth, neck is a $2,500 benefit amount. Pelvis, $1,500, thigh, lower leg, upper arm, forearm, shoulder blade, $1,500. Vertebrae, please note the vertebrae is $1,500. Again, 
and the breastbone can be under that. Cheekbone, uh, clavix, rib. Please note on the rib, it's each rib is a $500 benefit amount. Ambulance is a $200 per trip per covered accident. But please note, subject to a two trip maximum. Air, $3,000 per trip per covered accident, subject to one maximum. Maximum benefit amount is $10,000 per covered accident. Plan details, examination and hospitalization. So covered treatment and services. So the emergency room benefit amount is $250 per day super covered accident. Maximum benefit period is one day. Accidental death and dismemberment. Please note that this is, um, it's the percentage of $50,000 under the benefit amount. So if a person loses a hand, foot, or the entire sight in both eyes, it's paid out at 100%. Now, if a person has an injury and it's um, one hand or one foot, it's a 50% payout. Or if they lose one hand, one foot, or the entire sight in one eye, again, that's a 50% payout. Um, entire sight in one eye is a 25% payout. So 25% of that $50,000. Speech or hearing in both ears is a 50% benefit payout. Hearing in one ear is a 25% payout. So let's talk about exclusions. You know that there's always going to be exclusions. So you have sickness. Now this is a sickness that has, like say for diabetes, it's not going to be a covered benefit under that accident fixed benefit. Intentional or self-inflicted wounds, again, not a covered benefit. Members of the armed forces, cosmetic or elective, not a covered benefit. Services outside the US and Canada, sporting activities for pay or financial rewards. Racing and uh, racing a vehicle, racing a motorcycle where you're being compensated, again, is not a covered benefit. Now, if you need a held um, exclusion list, please go to the brochure. States that it's available in. Now, please note there are quite a few states. Um, National General Accident and Health Fixed Benefits. Basically, the states it's not going to be, um, which is probably easier to just point out, we have New York, California, Minnesota, Vermont, Washington are not the covered states. So let's talk about eligibility ages. The primary applicant must be between the ages of 18 to 64 at the time of application. So there's no child only policies. Children can stay on their the parent's policy up through age 25, and the product is renewable for life. But please note, renewable to age 70. So if you have a person that is 64 years of age and 10 months, they can take out this policy. So I, just again, a brief overview. So this is a cash benefit. It is. It can be sold as a standalone. So this is a cash benefit that's going to help with those unexpected expenses due to an accident. Large number of covered benefits and then easy to use and easy to understand. The accident and death and dismemberment, remember that is a $50,000 payout. Again, up to $50,000 payout. You can pick any doctor at any hospital it's in a large number of states. The benefits are paid no matter what doctor or hospital your client goes to. 
So the plan is available in a large number of states. So let's talk about the plan enhancer. So the accident medical expense, whether it's the cancer heart stroke writer, the sickness hospitalization writer, um, this is a wide benefit uh, range from 2,500 up to 17,500. And there's also that guaranteed issue. One of the nice things about the plan enhancer is that wider variety. You know, there is a number between 2,500 and $10,000. So you can easily match your client's needs. And the accident medical expense policy and that cancer heart stroke writer are both a guaranteed issue. The plan enhancer is a supplemental coverage that does not satisfy the government's requirement for that minimal essential coverage. So remember how I was talking about it ranges from 2,500 to 17,500? So as you can see, wide variety. So this plan enhancer, I'm, I'm sorry, I just totally lost it track of thought there. I, I apologize. So your client can use that accident medical expense benefit or the accident related health care costs. You can put this on top of it. This is going to help your client be protected from that financial burden that often comes with the unexpected accidents. So for each accident, there is a two, 20, excuse me, $250 deductible and the AME coverage pays benefits for the covered accident related medical expense up to that chosen benefit amount. Now the AME does coordinate with the client's maximum out of pocket. So if you have an insured with a $7,500 deductible maximum out of pocket, excuse me, then I recommend that that's the plan that you go with. Remember, if you're, oh, well, I'm just going to write him a $10,000 plan. Well, the maximum that it's going to pay out is the MOOP, the maximum out of pocket. And then we have the accidental death and dismemberment. And the wonderful thing about this particular plan is there's no waiting period. Guaranteed issue, love that. So let's look at Mark here. Mark was painting and he fell. With the un, well, you know, this is the nice thing is Mark was, um, broke his ankle. And when he broke his ankle, Mark had a $5,000 out of pocket maximum. And his plan um, was enhancer. Again, you want it to match that maximum out of pocket. So the medical cost for Mark was $8,000. His primary medical plan paid $3,000. The enhancer play, excuse me, paid $4,750. Remember, it's a $250 deductible that Mark was responsible for after this plan. So let's talk about these um, cancer heart stroke writers. This is going to match the AME benefit amount. It's a one lump sum payment for the first ever covered cancer diagnosis and first ever covered heart attack or stroke. This is a guaranteed issue. There is a 90 day waiting period for um, the cancer diagnosis and a 30 day period for a heart attack and stroke. So for example, Eric had a routine colonoscopy and found out he had colon cancer. He had a $5,000 maximum out of pocket limit and a $5,000 plan enhancer with cancer heart. So his treatment costs were $14,019. That primary medical plan paid $9,019. So that cancer, heart attack, heart and stroke plan paid $5,000. So the remaining out of pocket for Mark was 
Now, again, remember this matches the AME benefit. This is a lump sum benefit for the first day of the covered hospital admission, one benefit per year per person with a maximum of two benefits per year per family. Now, please note there is a 30 day waiting period. Now, unfortunately, this cannot be sold as a standalone. So another example here is Donna. Donna was admitted to the hospital with pneumonia. She had a $5,000 out-of-pocket limit and a $5,000 plan enhancer. So her treatment was $9,300. The primary medical plan paid $4,300. The sickness hospitalization writer paid for that $5,000. So her remaining out-of-pocket was zero balance. Now, you know, like all the other plans, there are exclusions. So we're just gonna touch on them. So anything prior to the effective date. So if you've had that person that's fallen and broken their leg, and then, you know, they went back and tried to get this plan, unfortunately, it's not gonna be a covered benefit. So it's anything prior to the effective date isn't gonna work. Dental treatment, except as otherwise covered for a dental injury hernia or heat exhaustion, mental or emotional disorders, war or any act of war, hazardous activities, you know, like that um, alligator wrestling, bungee cord diving or, or paragliding or rock climbing, hazardous occupations. So for an example, like someone um, that works in the timber industry, you know, a, a tree faller, not gonna be a uh, occupation that is gonna be covered. And then intentionally self-inflicted injury. Unfortunately, these are just some of the examples of the exclusions. So exclusions under the cancer, heart attack, and the stroke writer, there is a 24-month pre-existing condition. Diagnosis of diseases prior to the effective date, illegal drug or substance abuse, self-inflicted. Now, please note there is a 90-day wait for cancer and a 30-day wait on stroke, and please note the states that that applies to. A 60 day wait for cancer and 30 days, again, it depends on the state. So double check the state. The exclusions under the sickness hospitalization writer, 12 month pre existing conditions, or substance abuse, weight control, self inflicted or cosmetic procedures. Treatments outside of the hospital, war or any act of war. And again, please note the 30 day wait and the state. If you need more detail, please go to the brochure. States in which we have available right now. Now, please check back because we're constantly adding new dates. Eligible ages, accident and medical expense plan, up to age 64, a child only policy is available. Under those optional cancer and heart sickness hospitalization writers, ages 18 through 64. Unfortunately, those are not available as a child only policy. On the two writers, the primary applicant must be between the ages of 18 and 59 at the time of application. Plan enhancer, so please note, this is the accident medical expense. So it's going to also cover the heart 
uh, excuse me, cancer, heart attack, stroke writers are available as well. Sickness, hospitalization writers are available. Wide benefit ranges, no network restrictions, so they can pick any doctor or any hospital. And again, we have a large number of states. The TRIO Med. The TRIO Med is a combination of the accident, medical expense, critical illness, and the accidental death and dismemberment policies or supplemental products. There are two types of TRIO Meds available. There's a standard issue, meaning it has eligibility questions but higher benefit levels for that critical illness portion. And then there's a guaranteed uh, issue version. The TRIO Med is a supplemental coverage that does not satisfy the government's requirement for the minimum essential coverage. So why additional protection? Providing a uh, peace of mind, so more higher deductible plans than ever, leaving gaps in coverage. Employer-sponsored benefits are shrinking. We all know this. We see the trend. So this is an added protection over health care costs. Helps cover the unexpected. And this is great for clients who want to have more control over their health care costs. And what the TRIO Med does is help your client with that unexpected cost that comes with the accidents and the critical illness diagnosis. So the guaranteed issue, we have a $2,500, $5,000, and $10,000 plan. So this benefit amount is under the AME the CI and the AD and D. So the, ac the accident, um, they're covered. So the TRIO Med guarantees those three levels. The lowest coverage option offers 2,500 worth of the accident coverage, which is great. And that 2,500 worth of critical illness coverage the mid plan increases the accident and critical illness coverage up to 5,000. The highest level of coverage paid is $10,000 for uh, each coverage type. So benefits amounts for the AME and the AD&D. I kind of wanted to break it down a little cleaner for you guys. So under that standard issue, you'll note that both have the options of the $5,000 accident and medical expense and that AD and D benefit. But where they're going to differ is that you can pick either a $15,000 critical illness or a $30,000 critical illness. Now, keep in mind, this is underwritten. So the accident medical expense benefit on the TRIO Med is available per injury with a $250 deductible. The AME benefit coordinates with the insured's max major medical out of pocket. So basically meaning that if the insured has a $10,000 uh, TRIO Med, but has a $7,000 maximum out of pocket, the most that they will receive is $6,750. The maximum out of pocket minus that deductible. So remember that deductible is $250. Clients must seek treatment within 30 days of that covered accident. And then all sequential follow-ups, all the follow-up visits, up to 26 weeks after the initial accident. So I just kind of wanted to point out the example here. The average cost of a fractured hip, $1,923. Treatment costs, you'll see there. The primary medical 
plan paid $7,923. So that Trio Med paid seven thousand, excuse me, four thousand fifty dollars. Because remember, there's that two hundred and fifty dollar deductible. Three categories of covered conditions. So remember, we have that lump sum payment. Benefits payable for first diagnosis only, and there is no waiting period. So critical illness benefits, so you'll notice under category one, 100% is payout, whether it's a heart attack, stroke, major organ transplant, heart or combination transplant, including heart, 25% of the payout is for that coronary bypass surgery, the heart valve replacement, or, or even the repair. So let's go over category two. This is 100% payout for invasive cancer. So like, for example, breast cancer. Now you'll notice that it's 25% payout for the um, in, in, basically this is it. The way that I like to explain it is that cancer that has not spread to tissue, so like skin cancer, but again, no spread to tissue is a 25% payout. So let's look at the category three. This is 100% payout. End stage renal failure, you know, you guys have heard about that ESRD. Major organ transplant, including those covered in category one. Advanced Alzheimer's disease, coma, um, ALS disease, paralysis, severe burns. So if your client receives a first ever diagnosis with any type of cancer in the first 90 days of the plan, the benefit is reduced by 10%. Now let's look at the insured person. Amount payable of maximum benefit under the primary insured, 100%, spouse, 50%, child, 25%. So I've had some questions about those severe burns. So a severe burn, it, in order to get that 100% payout, um, they have to be diagnosed with third degree burns at least 5% of their body to receive that 100% payout. of the principal face amount. So 100% payout on accidental death, both hands, entire sight in both eyes, speech and hearing in both ears. 50% is one hand or one foot, one hand or one foot, and entire sight in one eye. One hand or one foot, speech or hearing in both ears. 25% payout is hearing in one ear, thumb, index finger, same hand. Please note there, it has to be the same hand. All of the toes on the same foot. Amount payable for the maximum benefit. So please note the insured, the primary and the spouse are 100% payout, child is 25% payout. Exclusions, you know there's always exclusions. So that full time in the armed forces, eligible for Medicare under the AME only, disability or is receiving workers' compensation, 
intentionally self-inflicted illegal acts, hazardous activities. So if you're in alligator wrestling, not going to be a covered benefit. Uh, some sports. So for example, semi-pro or pro sports, um, not going to be a covered benefit. But let's say that you have an insured that likes to play basketball on the weekends. As long as they are not being compensated, it would be a covered benefit in the event they had an injury during that time. Again, compensation is the big part on this. So if they're playing for that local softball team, they're good to go. So life association, the healthcare benefits, the telemed for life, connecting to a physician via phone or video chat, this is an unlimited at no extra cost benefit for your insured. I highly recommend, especially with the sensitive times that we're all going through right now with the COVID, you know, we tend to want to urge our insureds not to necessarily go to the doctor's office. Well, here you have a doctor just at your fingertips. Hospital negotiation services, discounts on rec lab services, so like LabCorp, family benefits, there's a number of discounts, whether it's um, you need tires or fitness, the list goes on and on. Entertainment, travel, retail stores, states that we have availability. Now, states that we are very popular in selling this particular product, Florida, California, Texas, We are constantly adding new states. So I believe we're at 30 states right now, but we're constantly adding to the portfolio. So remember to check and double check for that availability. Eligible ages, the primary applicant, ages 18 through 64 at the time of application. Children up to ages 26 on the parent plan, and a guaranteed renewable up to age 70. But remember, under the critical illness, that benefit is going to be reduced by 50% after age 65. The AME, the CI, the AD&D, all in one. You're also getting that life association benefit. Large states large number of states. And I believe there's gonna be some new ones coming out here. So stay on top and double check. So again, we have that three possible critical illness payouts. And then we have that $250 um, AME deductible. And then remember, this is a guaranteed issue is available. Enrollment. So if your insured needs that plan, they can have any date between the 1st and the 31st or the 30th, depending on what month we're in. You can start this policy as soon as the next day. Now, the initial payment is drawn at the time of the application. So as soon as you hit that process button, that is being, the payment is being taken. So reoccurring payments are five days before the monthly anniversary of the plan. Forms of payment, we have um, checking or savings account draft, the Visa, MasterCard, Discover. Sorry guys, no American Express is accepted. Member portal, so the www mynatgen.com is where your members can go. They're going to e-sign that application and the billing authorization. They can, com they can always go back and view the complete application and the billing authorizations. Post sales, 
member services. Now, I've had a couple people um, just recently in the trend who have kind of sort of forgotten the um, member services information. So I just like to point out more times than not that triple eight seven eight one zero five eight five phone number that your insured would call to make changes to the policy, update their um, credit card information, their bank draft information, the National General Accident and Health uh, address, and then the fax number below, the 888-344-3232, and then policy changes. So during that look the free look period, the coverage levels, the effective dates, any time the name or the address needs to change. Now, please note, cancellations have to be 10 days prior to the billing. So if your insured wants to cancel, we urge you to have them cancel 10 days in advance. Now, resources. So, hey, you know what, Lorraine, I didn't get to see the last two trainings. Well, that's not a problem. Go to YouTube and type in the National General Accident and Health, and you'll see a ton of different videos. So you can see product uh, quoting systems, policy administrations, all kinds of different videos, and we're constantly adding and up to you guys. So again, YouTube, National General Accident and Health is a great resource. Speaking of resources, at the natgenhealth.com, this is a great place for you guys to see those brochures, the available state grid. And for me personally, I kind of sort of forgot where claim forms are. So this is a great place where you can also, if your client needs that claim form, you can have them go there or you can double click on resources and that claim form is there. So questions, please email any and all questions at any time. I myself, along with several other people, monitor the training box. So the training box is training at ngisadmin.com. And again, we have people that are constantly looking at it and checking everything out. So if you have any questions, concerns, please don't hesitate. Just go ahead and uh, send over your questions and we will get to it as soon as possible. I am gonna sign out for the day. Again, thank you so much for spending part of your very busy day with me. I hope you all are well and I wish you great sales numbers and you guys have a great day. Take care.